Hello and howdy, my fellow math contest lovers. Welcome back to more of the Grade 7 Gauss from 2009. We are up to question at number 9 here. In a class of 30 students, exactly 7 have been to Mexico, and exactly 11 have been to England. Of these students, 4 have been to both Mexico and England. How many students in the class have not been to Mexico or England? Okay. So, uh, this question is going to involve a concept called inclusion and exclusion. And you often will use this property without really thinking about it. You can absolutely just deduce your way through this question. Just reason things out and f try and figure out sizes of things. How many people have done this? How many people have done this? And I won't lie to you. There's actually a lot more math going on here than just, you know, question number nine in part A on this contest. And depending on what you end up doing, you know, uh, whether or not you go to college or university or something else, you might see a bit more of this stuff. This is uh, some very basic set theory that we're looking at here in this question. I'm not going to use set theory to answer this. No, 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 no. I just want to give you, a, you know, a little glimpse that if you like questions like this, there's more to this. And you might uh, try and uh, say look up finite math, typically is what it's called, or discrete math, or counting math, sometimes it's called. And there's, there's some very interesting stuff going on here. But let's just answer the question, shall we? So I know 11 have been to Mexico. Or, uh, 7 have been to England. Or did I get the order of those wrong? I, th I feel like I got the order of them wrong. Yeah, 7 have been to Mexico, 11 were to England. Okay. Now, four have been to both. So we might even represent this as a little bit of a Venn diagram. You know, the people who have been to Mexico, the people who have been to England. Uh, a Venn diagram is just a nice visual way of, of determining sizes of sets. You know, the set of kids who went to Mexico or the set of kids who, who went to England. But we've got seven is the total number of people who went to Mexico, uh, 11 England, four people are in both. Four is in both circles, but the numbers in both uh, in the portions of the circles have to add up to the sizes of those circles. So we could write four and seven and three, and that way three plus four adds up to the seven from Mexico. So this is another, you know, sort of more advanced math thing, but it's a visual trick to help us understand the relationships between these sets. Okay. We don't have to have these, of course. But if you want to, if you understand Venn diagrams, this is a great way about going through the question. Another thing you could do is you could say, well, 7 have been to Mexico and 11 have been to England. So that's a total of 18 students, right? Well, you're almost right. So 7 have been to Mexico and 11 have been to England. If we add those two numbers up, we do get 18. But there's four people who you counted when you said 7 kids went to Mexico, who you also counted when you said 11 kids went to England, okay? And you have to account for that. You counted those four people who are in common with both groups, you counted them twice. This is a phenomenon known as double counting. And so we have to correct for that. So we don't just say seven plus 11 is 18. We say seven plus 11 minus four because we've counted these people twice, once when we counted Mexico, once when we counted England. And so that's actually going to be 14 have been to either Mexico or England. Now remember, what are we being asked? How many students have not been to Mexico or England? Well, I know how many have been to Mexico or England, 14. And I know that there's 30 students in total. By the way, another way we can see 14 is the three plus the four plus the seven here is 14, if you're a Venn diagram sort of person, but you don't have to be. But the point is 14 have been to Mexico or England. So the other students, the others out of the 30, so 30 minus 14 is 16, have not been to Mexico or England. And that's the number we're looking for, 16. So whether or not you, you know, use set theory formulas if you're a super advanced student, whether or not you use Venn diagrams because you like the visual representation and you're used to them, or whether or not you just reason your way out of the question and account for double counting, we can still get our answer of 16. 
And 16 leads us to an answer of B. Well, there we go. And we're going to find out in the next video with question number 10 whether question 10 can fit in the remaining space on this page. Place your bets now.